So, yeah, I tried beating Liza P demo with only punching. Kind of. Before we begin, I must tell you guys under which rules and restrictions I played. Number one, I will hold my right side weapon to block, parry, and dodge, but never attack. My initial brilliant idea was to run around barehanded as I would do in Dark Souls, but I quickly discovered that I could not block or even dodge without a weapon in Lies of P. As a result, I had to make a few compromises. I hope NeoWiz will add a barehanded play feature in the official version later. Number two, all usable items will be used in one way or another. I'll be throwing a lot of things during this run. And last but not least, all main bosses must be finished with the punch. The run wouldn't make sense if I didn't finish them with the punch, right? Anyways, with the rules out of the way, let's begin the video. After starting the game, I chose the path of the sweeper mainly because of two reasons. One, because I need more strength, which is referred to as motivity in this game, as it increases the damage of my punch. In Lies of P, you can punch using the left arm of steel legion arm, but it has its own legion arm gauge and can only be used for a limited number of times. This means I need all the motivity in the world to maximize my limited amount of damage I can deal to enemies. Path of the Sweeper grants you the highest motivity out of the three archetypes. Two, the default weapon this path gives you, the Great Sword of Fate, has the highest damage reduction rate within the demo, at a whopping 68.74. This means if you block an enemy's attack with this blade, you will only receive 31.26% of the initial damage. I'm gonna be blocking and pairing a lot, so this is good. I made a beeline through Cross Central Station as I'm only able to attack 5 times at a time and must use my attacks wisely. I found a sawtooth head wheel under a bench which will prove to be extremely useful later on. Anyways, I pick up more throwable items which are very important, open up the shortcut to the mini boss and then well, have to kill myself cause I need to recharge my region arm. I go straight to where the mini boss is, 2 sawtooth head and 5 punches gets the job done. By the way, what is this bug? I activate the Stargazer and Sophia tells me something that I haven't given much of a thought until this run. Gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger, but the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. I found out during this run that the game will actually level cap you at 20 until you make your way to the Krat Hotel. As you can see, once you level up to 20, you can only use the storage option from the stargazer. This was kind of bad for me since I wanted to maximize my punching damage before the Parade Master fight but unfortunately I have to adapt to the situation which is to farm the hell out of Sawtooth Head Wheels.
My initial objective was to farm around 30 of them, but I soon realized that this run might have not been the brightest idea I've ever had in my life. The drop rate for these items is so low that I felt like I was back farming in Demon Souls. I try to optimize the farming routine via killing myself using the last resort, but the dying motion and the loading time took more than just running back, so I decided to just run back. Anyways, after what felt like an eternity, I finally managed to farm 31 of them and headed straight into the Parade Master fight. I bought three throwing souls from the traveling merchant to maximize my damage output and enter the boss arena. Nice! Since I got him out of the way, and now can enter Hotel Krat, I didn't need to farm for Saltu's head wheels anymore cause I can just buy them from Paul and Dina for 100 ergos each. The most dull and horrifying part of the run for me was finally over. What you can also buy from him is this item called the Legion Magazine. It charges off your Legion arm just a little bit, two more punches to be exact, and you can carry three of them around. This means that I can punch my enemies 11 times at maximum. Nice. I mostly bypass the majority of the enemies within the city for the same reason as before, but I always remember to kill the elite enemies for fun and ergos. They mostly just get punched consecutively if there aren't any other puppets to bother my attacks, and I found out just how broken the arm of steel was during this run. I reached the part where the second officer puppet is, but I skip him for now since I have a greater plan for him, which is... You know what caused the puppet for you? What's you? Wait, you're the... You can't sneak past me. The mad donkey hates puppets so I granted him a bunch of puppets he could kill off. You can stay up this ladder and just watch them fight. The officer sometimes reaches this nirvana stage and aggros off of everything from this world, but once you climb down the ladder, it fixes him up.
After this gruesome fight, I finish off the donkey with a few punches. Second main boss finished. After entering Crot City Hall, I was confident that I could take care of the Scrap Watchman if I had 99 Sawtooth Head that is. So I proceeded on to farming 10k Argos to flex on Polandina. Later. I level up one capacity so I can wear the patient's amulet without being overloaded and headed straight to the boss arena. And that's it, I actually finished the demo version with only punching. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the contents. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you thought the video was fun. And as always, I'll see you all very soon.